Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you out to the shed of many names on this beautiful evening where I figured I would bring you along on my taste testing journey and have fun with this monster avocado. This is known as a Florida avocado. It's not because it's from Florida. Florida is the variety name. It actually hails from the West Indies. It's not like regular avocados that usually grow in California. This one likes high humidity. And it's smoother skin. As you can tell, it is a whole lot bigger than a hoss uh, avocado. A hoss is about half the size of this monster. Now, there is one downfall to this avocado. It ripens really fast. It's a little soft, so I'm a hoping it hasn't ripened too fast. Now, the thing about this avocado, sometimes it's called a slim cotto, uh, because it has a higher uh, moisture content and apparently less calories and less fat. Now, it's supposed to not be as buttery tasting as a Haas avocado, but you know what? I don't care. I'm going to give it a try. So, let's have some fun with this monster avocado. Now, a lot of times it's used for slices on sandwiches. It is not good for making um, guacamole. That's the, that's the word. Because it because of the moisture content is too high, it'll have too much uh, moisture in it. All right, give me a minute. I'm going to get things ready, and we're fixing to have some fun with this ginormous avocado. Okay. As Jaina goes wrong. Now, it's like any other avocado. It has a giant hit in the middle, and you betcha I'm going to try to grow it. Yep, it's a little overripe, but you know what? I'm going to eat it anyway. I don't care. I removed some of the So, yep. I only bought this a couple of days ago, so I just goes to show you you got to move fast with these. It's pretty though. Really pretty. Hopefully the seed is still good. It's looking a little rough, but I might not get a whole lot of avocado salad, but that's okay. Some's better than none. Now, it's supposed to have more fiber in it, too. We'll find out. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. It's not as wonderful as a hoss, but you get more for your money. So, let's start working on 
an avocado salad. I don't know why I'm getting a paper towel when I'm fixing to get messy. Now me, I'm not worried about the dark color. I'm still going to eat it. So apparently when you get it from the store, you're going to want to eat it a whole lot sooner than I have. I thought I had more time with it. Huh, I thought wrong. I know most people, ooh, ooh, it don't look good. This means it's good and right. And I'm still going to eat it. It cuts extremely fast. Whoop. That, that's the fun of tendonitis. All right. Because when I got it, it was really firm, so it might be the jalapeno's fault that they were in the bag with. But, waste well, not, want not. On that. Now, you can use onion by Delia if you want to, a yellow onion, a white onion. I like red onions. And there's a funny story behind this onion. Oh, it's, all right, you see the milk here from the onion? This is going to be a strong onion. That tells you this onion has been in storage for a while. Is there anything wrong with it? No. Is it going to be stronger than usual and have more flavor? Oh, you betcha. see this one's bigger I'm only going to use a half of a medium medium to me large onion large onion yeah use whatever onion you prefer and especially if you have one that's milky like this be careful, it will slip around on you. There's going to be plenty of onion in there. Plenty. All right, get in there. Now, if you want to, you can use hot peppers as well, like jalapenos, ghost peppers are really good, and so on. Red pepper flakes, but I'm not going to use any of that because, well, I have a secret weapon in there. And this is some of my homegrown garlic. It's going to be harder to peel. 
because it's not 100% cured just yet. And I have a compost bucket over here. And yes, I like my garlic a little bit chunkier than most people. Now, the reason why I'm not mashing up this avocado is from what I have read and researched. It will turn extremely watery on you if you try to mash it up. It's best used slices or chunked up. smells so good. Now, of course, you can put this on sandwiches as well. Now, I'm going to add uh, a can of, how big is this? 14.5 ounces, I shouldn't do that, of fire-roasted diced tomatoes. And me and this can opener do not get along, not whatsoever. Oh, I do better with the P thirty eight. All right. I'm going to go drain this can of tomatoes, and I'll be right back. Okay, got the tomatoes drained. Most of the juice out. Don't waste the juice. Drink it. It's good for you. Now, of course, any of the ingredients is up to you. I'm just using mostly what I have in my preps, which are my tomatoes. Now, the red onion today was interesting. The organic red onions was the same price as the regular red onions. So, yeah, I jumped on the red onion, the organic ones. You better believe it. If you don't like tomatoes, leave them out. But they are so good for you. I'm telling you now, this smells amazing, y'all. Now, you're going to need a little acidity to keep it from going brown. And you can still see it's pretty and green. Now, when making guacamole, my preference is lime juice. I just think avocado and lime goes better together. Or you can use um, fresh squeezed lemon juice, bottled lemon juice. I'm taking it up a hair more to get more nutrients out of this. 
and I'm going to use fire cider. Yes, yes, you can use fire cider. You can use regular vinegar. You can use herb vinegar. You can use whatever you have in stock. And I shook it up a little while ago. Okay, I have fed my spoon from myself. There it is. And I'm going to use... Oh, I can smell that fire cider. That's why I'm not adding any pepper flakes to it or any hot peppers. I don't need to. There's enough heat in this jar to take care of anything. But... Why not make it just a little bit more healthy for you? Get in as much nutrient and healing benefits as you can. Now, apparently, I think I took my pepper home. So, yes, I'm going to use coarse sea salt. It's actually fine sea salt, but salt to taste, y'all. Salt to taste. Yeah, a lot of people don't know. If you don't have lemon juice or lime juice, you can substitute vinegar into your avocado salad, um, guacamole, you name it. Alright, now, before anybody says a word, I'm the only one that's going to be eating this. Nobody else in the family, not even Junior, will eat this. You know what? It's mine. All mine. Once in a blue moon, I make something for me. Once in a blue moon. So, that way, I can taste with the mixing spoon. So, before anybody says anything, it's all mine. Oh, my. Oh, that is so good, y'all. That is so good. All right, sorry, y'all. Hold on. All right, y'all. <laughs> That is way better than I thought it was going to be. Now, for those who truly love avocados, don't expect a big punch of avocado flavor. It's It doesn't have it. It's light. For those who are not a big fan of avocados because sometimes they taste really strong, you will like this avocado. It's... You can taste the avocado, but it's not just right there in your face. It's really, really good. I am glad that I grabbed that avocado to try it. You never know. Try foods that you've never had before. You might find something that you really love. I am impressed with this avocado. And I'm going to be having avocado salad and bagels for breakfast in the morning. Now, I'm going to put this, of course, in a container that has a top and store it in the fridge. And I'm happy that I bought that avocado because that little thing was a monster. I've never seen one that big before. 
But like I said, that one was grown in the Dominican Republic. But it's a West Indian avocado. It likes humidity, not dry places. And I'm going to try to grow that seed. See if I can get it to germinate. I hope this video encourages you to try new things. Try the Florida. It's called Florida Avocado. It's not because it's from Florida. It's, it just has that name. I hope it encourages you to try it as well. Continue to grow things as much as you can. Grow food, grow herbs, grow spices, you name it. Stock up your pantry with foods that will sustain you. Now, this cannot be stored in your pantry. And the avocados do not have a long store uh, shelf life. But a little treat once in a while is good for everybody. I look forward to seeing y'all in my next video. May you each be blessed. Y'all take care and I'll see you soon. Hoot hoot.